The automotive industry is one of the most prominent sectors in Serbia, accounting for 10% of FDI since 2000. This is one of the areas that is tipped to boost the economy. Earlier, I caught up with Fiat's director to check out the booming sector. Okay, so thank you very much for joining us. So kicking off, um, it'll be great to understand this um, unique long-standing partnership that Fiat has had in Serbia. Yeah, it's a long partnership, as you said. It's a partnership that lasts for more than 70 years. Uh, it started with the history, basically, of the automotive industry in Serbia with Zastav Automobili, and uh, where at that time Fiat started uh, uh, providing uh, technological support to the local automotive industry and basically all the cars that uh, were built in uh, Serbia were based uh, on uh, some Fiat product under license. This relation went on with the time till basically the beginning of the new century. And then in 2008, there was uh, the new project of Fiat uh, in Serbia. Okay, and so what initially made Fiat think about expanding and really investing in, in Belgrade? But for sure, the fact that there was a, a, a knowledge of the country and the long relationship, uh, it helped a lot in terms of understanding the potentiality of uh, the market itself and, the, and the, this place. Uh, for sure, in assessing uh, the opportunity to invest, uh, we consider also the location of, uh, of the country that is uh, just uh, in, is well located between uh, East and West Europe, uh, uh, the possibility to find a skilled workforce, uh, the presence of an industrial project, and of course also the possibility to get uh, some support from the government. Okay, well Serbia is on the cusp of EU accession at the moment and they're looking for that uh, membership. Can you tell me about maybe the, I suppose, pros and cons of Serbia becoming an EU member and the impact on maybe big business? But for our business, uh, uh, we are basically neutral in terms of impact uh, of a possible, uh, mm, let's say, joining of uh, EU from, uh, from Serbia. But of course, uh, for the country, is a, is a big opportunity. There is a possibility also to get uh, a further step on in the process of development. And for sure, this uh, will help uh, more the country than the, the negative impact that it could be uh, join uh, EU itself. Well, um, interestingly, um, as we've picked up before, um, despite the car industry in general over the world is having a bit of a tough time recovering from the financial crisis, exports actually have uh, grown uh, quite a lot out of uh, Serbia. So maybe you can tell me about the um, current picture and outlook for Fiat production and capacity. Well, our capacity at the moment uh, is uh, 30 car per hour. So it means that every hour, uh, there are 30 new Fiat 500 uh, ready to be, to be shipped uh, all over the world. Uh, on daily base, uh, uh, we produce uh, 600 cars, and of course, we are ready to, to, to face all the, the need of, uh, of the market. Uh, in this moment, uh, despite uh, the situation on the uh, car industry in Europe, uh, uh, we are pretty satisfied about the success of the car that is also supporting Fiat position in this moment in, on the market. For the future, of course, we are ready to produce uh, and we think that uh, we, there is still a room for improve our production. Okay, so I mean rounding off for the future, um, what would you say are the next major milestones that Fiat in Serbia is hoping to achieve? Well, uh, as we said, uh, uh, for sure to complete uh, uh, the, the product line for the uh, American market and to be ready for new opportunities that the market can raise. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.